Wasn't, Emily. Were you expecting Courtney? No, no, I want to be here. I want to be here with you. Okay? Okay, I've waited too long. Courtney's moved in, not, is... not into this house, but in, into your thoughts, into your heart. Whatever you're picking up on, it's not about Courtney. It's about me. I wanted you to come home for so long, you know, and then when you finally showed up, I you just... Said I... You be here when I'm ready. Yeah, I know. I just, I didn't, I didn't expect for it to be so soon, and I just... Neither did I. I mean, you know how many times that I've, I've imagined you walk, walking through those doors, and, and, you know, then you did. And then, and then we kissed. And I just, I couldn't, I, I couldn't believe it. I thought I was, I thought I was dreaming, so I just, I had to back a little bit and I don't know. for a reality check yes yeah exactly I mean I needed to know my heart needed to know that you were that you were really here with me I'm, I'm sorry for being so insecure Nicholas I, I shouldn't have said anything but Courtney no, no it's okay I, I, I'm sorry that you misunderstood no, I, I shouldn't just expect the worst I don't want to be with her I want to be with you I'm sorry, guys. I should have called before just dropping by. Oh, nobody just drops by, Windermere. You were expecting her this whole time, no. weren't you? No, it's, it's not what you think. <laughs> I talk about a reality check. It's not what it, I'm not trying to hurt you, okay? Don't, don't okay, do this. Okay, that's uh, listen, very honorable. Emily, listen, <laughs> listen to me. What we said to each other on the pier, It doesn't I meant... matter at all. Look, Emily, Nicholas just called me out here to, to make a clean break, okay? He loves you. You're his life. You always have been. He, he just wanted to tell me in person. 
She's lying, isn't she? He had no intention of breaking off anything with Courtney. In fact, it's just the opposite. What I said to you tonight on the pier was true. Not all, Nicholas. You may love me, but you're not waiting for me. You're waiting for Courtney. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm going back to Jack. Okay, we've decided to make our marriage work to give ourselves another chance. I swear, that is why I came here. To tell Nicholas that I am committed to my husband. Be my guest. Emma. Emma. Hey, what happened? I'm late for work. Uh, wait a minute. No, I don't think so. Actually, I don't even think you're scheduled to yeah, work. Well, I'm here. I may as well make myself useful, huh? <laughs> well, just a minute. I may as well. Just stop. Right where you are. Take a deep breath. And talk to me. I went to Windermere, and Nicholas pretended to be happy to see me, but he was really expecting Courtney. I'm so sorry. Hey, don't be, Mom. I'm a fool. No, you're not. No, you are a beautiful young woman who deserves a lot better than she's getting. And Nicholas changed. So did I. I should have let go a long time ago. Yeah, except for one thing, and that's that you love him. Yeah, Nicholas swears that he loves me too, Mom, but he's with Courtney now. Are you sure? Really? Is there any chance that maybe you are jumping to conclusions? I've been trying so hard to hold on, but there's no point. Okay. Just tell me what happened. Start at the beginning, okay? All that matters is that Nicholas and Courtney are together. 